Hi guys, welcome to Future Recap. Today, I am going to explain a thriller drama movie called, William. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, Dr. Julian Reed is giving a lecture in the auditorium, talking about fossilized remains of a human-like creature in 1856, which was discovered in Germany, named Neanderthal. He says that the world's only non-fossilized remains of Neanderthal are on this campus, and they were discovered by his boss, Dr. Thomas. She named him William after the Irish naturalist, who first recognized Neanderthals as separate species. According to Dr. Reed, much has been learned from William, but his real potential remains untapped. Afterward, Dr. Reed ends the lecture by asking the students if someone can figure out how to use William's DNA to clone a living Neanderthal. After some time, while Dr. Reed is sitting in a library, a girl named Dr. Barbara Sullivan arrives, and tells him that she can do cloning. She introduces herself as a medical doctor and PhD in reproductive endocrinology and bioengineering. Dr. Barbara tells him that they will need cloning 101 for this purpose, but she wants to know why he is so interested in Neanderthal, and what's to be gained from this? Dr. Reed says that he wants to show her something. He takes Dr. Barbara to a place which he calls a bat cave, and his kingdom. He gives her two stones and asks her to tell which one is of William. She takes a look at them but cannot tell which one. After a while, Dr. Reed shows her the correct stone and reveals that they need William to understand themselves, after which Dr. Barber tells him that he is very interesting. In the next scene, Bob Claiborne, who is the university president, calls Dr. Godwin Thomas, who is Dr. Reed's boss, and yields the Neanderthal specimen, from which the DNA is extracted later. Bob asks her perspective about continuing with the Neanderthal project. Dr. Godwin tells Bob that Barbara and many competitive people are working on it, to which he says that he is thinking about making some decisions about this project soon. Now, Dr. Barbara and Dr. Reed have developed good chemistry. One day, she tells him that they should proceed with the Neanderthal project, to which he asks, who will carry the embryo? Dr. Barbara answers that she will do this. Hearing this, Dr. Reed kisses her, and later they plan to marry. After their marriage, they have a baby which they named William. Dr. Reed then goes to Bob and tells him that he will disclose this tomorrow at a press conference. Bob gets worried and discusses it with his faculty members that they should fire him from the institute as he has caused them great trouble. Andrea Becker, who is the faculty member, gives a suggestion that if they accept all this, they can control it later. The next day, Dr. Reed is giving a speech at a press conference, and he says that the baby is healthy. The press asks multiple questions about the baby's immune system and Dr. Reed says that they have taken necessary precautions and the clone baby is safe. One member of the press asks him how he feels like a proud father, after which he says that the baby is not genetically linked to him and Dr. Barbara, as she is the only carrier of the fetus, but he is proud of the baby. After the meeting is closed, Bob tells Dr. Reed that nothing will happen without him and Dr. Godwin's permission. Meanwhile, Dr. Godwin comes and congratulates him for the baby. Now, the scene is cut too many years later, where William is a grown young boy. At home, he meets a girl named Sarah, who teaches him subjects like English and mathematics and helps him in his studies. On the other hand, Dr. Reed is taking a lecture in his class. He tells the students that the theory suggests that Homo sapiens drove their ruthless Neanderthal cousins to extinction with their superior intelligence. But studying William gives them more reason to doubt that story. He then talks about William's teenage years, and that they had to place him in the lab as a professional protocol to see his development. The study revealed that he has equal or greater intelligence than humans. His immune system is very robust and adaptive. In between the scenes, William's childhood is shown when Dr. Barbara fights with her husband, and he tells her that they need to regularly check how the genes express themselves as he develops. He reminds her that they have a responsibility to keep him in the lab to maximize his study. But Barbara says that he is human, and she is his mother. Dr. Reed responds that he is not her son, after which she leaves angrily. In another flashback, William is cycling with some other boys, and soon he breaks a boy's hand. He is then called for a meeting where his mom deals with the affected boy's mother. Dr. Barbara tells William that he is a Neanderthal, and a special one so he should not make such mistakes again. While William is sitting on his bed, he searches for Neanderthals, which shows that 40, 000 years ago, they were much stronger than modern humans. Then he sees the end of the article where it is written that they are stupid and beastly creatures. Afterward, William's parents have a meeting with Principal Bernstein, who tells them that his grades are strong, but he struggles with standardized tests. He further says that he is unique. Meanwhile, Dr. Reed asks about his intensive tutoring, to which he says that he would recommend that if he resubmits his college applications, 
Hearing this, Dr. Reed gets surprised and comes to know that Dr. Barbara had withdrawn his applications before, without William knowing about this. Dr. Reed argues what William would do after graduation, and she responds that he works at a hardware store part-time. Dr. Reed denies this by saying that after graduation, he will come with him, after which Barbara says that he wants him back for testing in the lab. Their fight continues, when the principal interrupts and tells them that he is doing fabulous as a human, and both of them do not need to decide his future. Now, Dr. Reed is talking to William, telling him that he should go with him for research, but Dr. Barbara interrupts and asks William to decide later. After a few discussions, William agrees to participate in the research but after achieving his study goals. Some days later, Dr. Reed checks his progress in studies and sees no improvement. He angrily throws all the papers and leaves. Later, Sarah comforts William by saying he has achieved good scores. In the meantime, she asks William to go with her on a walk. There, she tells her childhood story that whenever she got less grade than A, her mom stabbed her with a ruler. Whereas her dad worked hard to pay for her tutors. But now she realizes it was all for her own benefit. Then, she asks him to sing a song and later they kiss each other. While both are enjoying each other, Dr. Reed sees them and asks William shouldn't he be studying, but he remains silent. The next day, William meets Mrs. Godwin, while Sarah is waiting outside. Mrs. Godwin asks him what brings him here, to which he says that she knows about her remains. She responds that he would like to see them, and afterward takes him to the lab. Outside, Sarah calls Dr. Barbara, informing her that she is at the test center, and asks whether William is with her. Inside, William is with Mrs. Godwin in the lab, who is showing him a preserved ancient mummy. William stares at the mummy and tells Mrs. Godwin that the mummy wants to say something. She replies that maybe he speaks through him, but nothing happens. Afterward, William tells Mrs. Godwin that he is forced into a less advantageous habitat by her superior numbers, and that the mummy does not belong here and neither does him. He then leaves. Now, Dr. Barber meets Sarah and tells her that William is not picking her calls and asks about his behavior. Sarah says that he was stressed and looked worried. Dr. Barber reveals to Sarah that William told her he likes her, to which Sarah says she likes him too. In the next scene, while Dr. Reed is giving a lecture in his class, William joins his class secretly in the back. During his lecture, Dr. Reed says that William is a dumb beast, a grunting savage, and a caveman. He further reveals that the intensive study of William's genetics and behavior has been one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs of recent times. He adds that William recently graduated, and he is preparing to participate in intensive studies at Wallace University. Suddenly, William loudly says no. Dr. Reed becomes surprised to see him. William tells him that he doesn't know anything about work, and his work is a failure. Dr. Reed responds angrily that he is a failure. After hearing this, William goes away, while Dr. Reed follows him outside and says sorry for what he said during the class. He tells him that he embarrassed him, but William denies it, saying he did this, and that he is not his father. Dr. Reed becomes angry and slaps him. The same stone which he gave William before, falls. They fight for that stone during which William hits him in the head, and he falls down. Seeing this, William gets afraid and runs away. On the other side, Sarah is finding William in a car, where she receives a call from Dr. Barbara, saying that he attacked his dad. Sarah gets shocked and goes to find him. Now, William sees the police outside, after which he starts getting flashbacks in his mind. The police arrest him, while Sarah is crying. And the movie ends with Sarah, carrying a baby in her hands with memories of William. To watch more interesting movies recaps, you can just click on one of the movies on your screen and continue the show. Or, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help out the channel. Thanks for watching.